Well, good morning, Abundant Life family. Pastor Kevin here. Hey, I have a quick word just to encourage you this morning. Um, yesterday, as I looked outside, I saw the, the rain clouds and the rain started to come. And it just made me, rem it reminded me of a passage in 1 Kings um, chapter 18. Um, and it's the story of Elijah and King Ahab. And the Lord spoke to, to Elijah and said, I want you to present yourself to the king. Now, there had been a famine in the land. There was a drought, and where there's no water, there's no food. People were suffering. They were hungry. And the Lord said, I have, a, I have an answer. And he said to Elijah, go present yourself to the king, and I will bring the rain. And so Elijah went, and he, he presented himself to the king. And this wasn't a, a great idea because... Uh, Ahab and Jezebel, they were killing all the prophets of God. And so this was a scary time for all the prophets. And he was one of the, the, the few left. But he, he obeyed and he did what God called him to do. He went, presented himself. And he pretty much told the king, how long are you going to waver between God and the true one true God and the gods of Baal and Asher? And, and uh, he says, let's, let's throw down. Let's see. Once and for all, Whose God is the one true God? And so he, they, they, they came up with this plan. You build an altar, I'll build an altar, and we'll see whose God shows up in fire. And so they had all of the, the prophets of Baal, 450 of them, and, and, and 400 um, prophets of Asher come and build this altar to their gods and cried out and called for fire to burn up the the altar. But guess what? Nothing happened. <laughs> of course nothing happened. And this went on for a long time. And finally, Elijah starts making fun of him. Where's your God? Is he on vacation? Is he taking a break? <laughs> is, he, is he on the toilet? I mean, where is he? And this just, it, uh, just furiated them. And so they started cutting themselves. They start screaming out, you know, and they, this went on for a long time. And finally, nothing, still nothing happened. And so Elijah says, okay, it's my turn. And so he, he um, built the altar, set up 12 stones to represent the 12 tribes of Israel. Um, he put the, the bull on the altar. He had the servants take three jars or jugs of water, and he poured it on the altar, dug a trench around the altar. He had them do that three times. Finally, the, the altar is soaking wet. The sacrifice is soaking wet. The trench is full and overflowing, and he just lifts up his voice and he says to the Lord, show these guys, show everyone here who you are, and, uh, and, and, and turn the hearts of these people back to you. And God opened up heaven, and a fire came down and burnt up the altar, burnt up the offering, uh, licked up the water, and uh, dried up the ground, and all of the people fell on their face and worshiped God. And so then Elijah gathered all the false prophets and had them slaughtered. And this is, what, this is what happened. He turns and he looks to King Ahab and he says, God has promised rain. Go, eat, drink, because the rain is coming. Looks around. It's a nice, clear day. He goes up to the top of the mountain of Carmel and he gets on his face and he prays to the Lord for rain. He has his servant go and look out to the sea to see if he sees anything. The servant comes back with the report that there's nothing. He doesn't see a single cloud. He says, go back and look out to the sea. He does that again. He does this seven times. On the seventh time, the servant comes running back and he says, Elijah, I see a cloud coming out from the sea. It's only the size of a man's hand. It's not much, but there's something happening. Elijah gets up and he tells the servant, go tell the king that the rain is coming. <laughs> So exciting. This is what I see in this passage of Scripture. God is faithful to His promise. God is faithful to His promise. You know, I wonder what promises are you waiting for this morning? Because God promised Elijah rain. <laughs> and He fulfilled that promise. Even when there wasn't any, any clouds in sight, He believed. And, and I see Elijah, he did three things. He heard the word of God, he believed the word of God, and then he responded to that word. God's word always gives us an opportunity to respond. Are you hearing God's word? Do you believe God's word? And how are you responding to God's word? 
Anytime that God promises something, there's always an opportunity to respond. My question to you is, have you responded to what God has called you to do? Are you doing what God is asking you to do? Because only after obedience do we walk in blessing. And so that's just uh, food for thought this morning. I hope it encourages you. Maybe it's time for you to respond to what God is calling you to do. And then let's experience the blessing together. Love you guys. I hope you have a wonderful day. God bless you. We'll see you soon. Bye.